The input shaft is connected to the steering column universal joint and is centered within the rotary valve in the neutral position by the torsion bar. It is an open centered valve which allows fluid to flow directly through the steering gear and back to the reservoir at low pressure when the engine is running and no force is applied to the input shaft. The rotary valve is supported both top and bottom in the bearing cap by a series of thrust bearings, shims, and a thrust washer, which are constantly bathed in steering fluid. The input shaft high pressure seal and salt seal are located in the bearing cap cover. A face seal dust boot is installed over the input shaft as extra protection for the seals. The rotary valve shaft ball thread rotates within the piston on 24 steel recirculating balls. The sector shaft rotates on two roller bearings which are constantly lubricated by the steering fluid. The sector shaft pressure seals are located next to each bearing. The sector shaft teeth engage the piston rack teeth machined into one side of the piston. The pitman arm is mounted on the tapered splines of the sector shaft. The arm will get tighter on the splines the harder it is worked. The pitman arm retainer applies the initial pressure to the arm to seat it onto the shaft and then acts as a safety device to prevent the arm from coming loose if it was not properly torqued. Relief plungers are located in both the bearing cap and cylinder head and may be either manual or automatic depending on the steering gear model. They must be correctly adjusted to obtain full turn angle or wheel cut of the steering and still prevent the axle stops from hitting the axle under full steering pump pressure. Turning the steering wheel turns the steering column and rotates the input shaft. This overcomes the resistance of the torsion bar which opens the rotary valve to allow as much pressure as is needed from the pump to push the piston through the cylinder bore. The more resistance encountered in trying to steer the wheels, the more the valve opens and more pressure from the pump it applies to the piston. At the same time, the rotary valve opens a passage back to the reservoir for the fluid in the opposite side of the cylinder cavity, allowing it to drain and closes off the flow of fluid from the pump going directly to the reservoir. Fluid pressure and flow will push the pressure side relief ball off its ball seat and along with the relief spring pressure force the opposite side relief ball onto its ball seat sealing off any internal leakage through the piston. When the wheels are steered to the full turn angle the piston will move through the cylinder bore until the relief plunger contacts the relief ball and pushes it off its seat, opening the flow path for fluid back to the reservoir and dumping steering system pressure. This ensures there is not enough power assist to keep turning and drive the axle stop into the axle. The process reverses for steering the opposite direction. When the engine is running, there is a constant flow of oil at low pressure through the steering gear until a force is applied to the steering wheel. This constant oil flow provides instant steering response and absorbs road shocks for smooth operation. Note, if there is a loss of power steering pump pressure while driving, the steering gear is designed to provide a mechanical backup so the vehicle may be safely steered to the side of the road. Steering gears may be built with an integral pressure relief valve if the power steering pump has no relief or the pump delivers higher pressure that the gear is rated for. This valve protects the steering gear against excessive pressure and reduces system temperature by avoiding high pressure bypass and recirculation within the pump. Shepard steering gears are designed to provide long service life and simple repair. The sector shaft to piston rack never requires center point adjustment. The relief plungers once set initially, do not require adjustment unless axle stop settings or tire size is changed. With routine care and limited maintenance, Shepard steering gears will provide many miles of reliable performance.